so close to hitting that thing that one time. <laughs> Steal my lube, Cam Lube. Well, this wasn't all for you, but I guess you're gonna take it all. Mm That's a good sign. Went into that one real easy. The other cam that we were testing in here wasn't doing that. That's why we decided not to use that cam because that's the second block that it's done that in. So we're thinking that it's the cam that's effed up on the block. Mm -hmm. It spins like it's spinning right now and the rest of it. Real good shape. Be like brand new. Be like we took I'm it excited apart, for this engine. Rebuilt it or something. Even though it's like completely stock, well, it's still gonna be pretty badass. Oh, it should. It's gonna have. It's gonna be faster than probably a lot of like uh, '90s to early 2000s Mustangs, but it'll probably make like no noise whatsoever, which will be kind of funny. Mm-hmm. It'll be like completely dead silent. Like, I'm curious to see how much gas or like what the gas mileage is. I bet if you had Chuck like you know look it over and like if, if you Optimize were really really it. worried about it, you could make it probably like 25. Mm -hmm. I mean, my Caprice with the with the cam in it got like close to 25, so you, know, you should be at least that much because you got a smaller engine than my original engine even, and. Uh, Again, there, yep, yeah. Oh, yeah, it spins really good right there. Oh, this is this is a good sign so far. It's a little bit tighter, but that's to be expected because we're putting more of it in the engine. Yeah, that last hole was a little tight. What Ricky told me, and I believe him, is that if you can spin the camshaft over by hand, even if it's really hard, as long as you can physically spin it with your hands, like with a couple bolts at the end of this, mm -hmm. then it's got it's not too tight. Nice. Because I mean, stuff like that, as long as it's not so tight that it's gonna spin the bearing, was when you fire it up pretty quickly after you fire it up, it's gonna loosen up itself. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. turns like this in the in the last journal this is for real as good as it ever gets <laughs> now I'm gonna 
have to get a couple bolts to put in the end of this so that I can actually put it all the way in. I'll do that after I get the lube on it. You done good. Uh, let's scoot the whole... And it makes a little thing you can slide over the camera down with. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the which I hope this thing can spin over without us having to mess with that van. We're going to get the, uh, the cam plate, put it on and get the, basically get the, the cam gear on and that'll hold the cam in essentially. And then once we get the cam gear on, which I didn't bring it with me to work today, unfortunately, but we could always put this on in the car too, is the oil pump and mm -hmm. really we should put the oil pump on before we put it in the car because then we've got to put the oil pan and all that on. Basically, once you put this cam in, we can put your lifters in, and then after we put your lifters in, we can go put the heads together, put the heads on, except for I don't think we have any head bolts. I just realized that. We may have to go buy some head bolts. Look up uh, cam, uh, LS cam retainer plate uh, torque spec. That would probably break these if I had to guess. Probably 18. <laughs> what a waste of time. I'm not sure yet. You know what that means though, right? Because of the fact that it didn't come with a tensioner or any of that bullshit, that means that we ordered the timing set for, for the right year engine, if that makes any sense. Uh, like I just guessed what year the engine, which I mean it's a year range. You know, I didn't probably get it exactly right, but I got it the right uh, generation or something like that, if that makes sense. I know we have an O3 engine. Yeah, well, some engine of ours is that. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the, the one in the 300. That's what I sure. think also. Because that one, we actually, the guy that he, he pulled it out of the, the car, if that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? We, we got it from the guy that pulled it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Where is yeah, this? this lady knew nothing about this. Yeah, exactly. Other than it was an engine. I'm excited to build the rear end or install the rear end right. <sighs> and... We need to do a before and after race of the <sighs> Corvette and the truck. What like when I turbo the Corvette? Yeah, so it, like when you don't when the your truck's not turbo is what you're saying? Yeah, so like right after this goes in. Yeah. We'll race, and then once your Corvette's turboed, we can even race after that and see the difference. Well, my Corvette won't ever not, like, it's not going to run again until it's Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. In time.
just gonna put more of these in here. Finger tight, and I'm gonna make sure that it is going to look back just a hair. Actually, back forward just a hair. Okay, okay. We are lined up, so these next two we'll put in. Um, go get me a paper towel, please. And so, don't have any Loctite. And these usually, I don't think Ricky even ever puts Loctite on, but I have heard of LS's sometimes spitting out cam bolts. Huh. I figured some sort of goop would be better than no goop. True. You know, all Loctite or any of that shit is, is just stuff that clogs up the thread so it doesn't just come out. hardens, yeah. That's a little trick. A lot of people overcomplicate tightening these bolts. Literally, all you do is you take a paper towel and shove it in there, and then it can't turn. And then when the paper towel gets stuck, you just take it and just bump it back just a hair. And it's like the easiest way to to hold that so that you can tighten these bolts. Uh -huh. So now your cam's in time. Uh, we can slide on your oil pump after we wash it um, and then after your oil pump I don't think there's anything else you need to put in the front of the engine we could put the the timing cover on the front of the engine and then after we put the timing cover on the front of your engine we could put the I didn't get the winded straight fuck forgot to look for that <laughs> we may have one here too though. 